How to save $100,000 by making this one decision. What is the number one decision that you need to make if you're looking to lose weight, but most importantly, you want to keep the weight off? So most women I talk to have lost weight before. The problem is not really with losing weight. Uh, most of the time, it is keeping the weight off long term. So whether it's been 5, 10, 15, 20 years, you most likely have experienced an extent of weight loss one time or another. But finding a plan that keeps you there has been the challenging part. So whenever you're looking to get healthy, you want to lose weight, increase your metabolism, balance out your hormones, you're looking to restore and improve your gut health, you know, you always start with good intentions. No one, and I mean no one, and you never jump into something knowingly that it's going to get you short-term results. Uh, you know, oh, well, I'm going to do this and it's just going to be a short-term result, especially when you're putting in hard-earned effort um, to get there. So I want you to imagine new homeowners, Nicole and John, and they're building their house from the ground up. There are tons of steps when it comes to building a house. First, you have to break ground. Then you have to lay down the foundation. Then you have to do the framing of the house. So... As new homeowners, and as any new homeowners, Nicole and John, their goal was to have a house built completely finished from the inside out without having to work on it. Uh, they didn't want issues down the road. So they decided they wanted to uh, build their house from ground up because this was going to be the house they wanted to die in. They wanted to essentially live there for the rest of their lives. They wanted to build a family there. This was like a long-term goal, a long-term plan for them. And the only thing they really wanted to worry about was maybe a little bit of maintenance down the line, maybe a new roof, you know, 20, 30 years from now. And then anything else would be maybe some aesthetic upgrades, maybe like a new kitchen or a new bathroom, you know, down the line, just something that they would maybe change. But nothing really that they can't handle because... Their builders did everything correctly the first time they built it, so they don't have to worry about any major headaches. So imagine these new homeowners, Nicole and John, they hired these builders because they were the best at laying down foundation. Uh, they, you know, they broke ground, they laid down the foundation, they even did the framing of the house, they put up the sheetrock. So from the outside looking in, you know, they accomplished the goal of building the house from the ground up. The house is standing, um, it's built, it has its walls. So the one thing they forgot to make sure of was, you know, the insulation wasn't done properly. The piping wasn't done correctly. They missed all the nuts and bolts of what to do once the house was up. So all they really cared about was the foundation and the framing. That was it. And the rest, they left to Nicole and John to kind of figure out themselves. So, <laughs> it sounds like a nightmare. Now you have a house that wasn't built to last forever. Now they're going to be stuck with tons of projects on the house all the time, year after year, because they never learned and they, they never had builders that built the house, you know, with having it last forever in mind. That was not their main focus point. So now they have, they're left figuring it out themselves. Now they're dealing with a ton of maintenance issues, uh, spending even more money on maintenance and, and help. Um, they went into this thinking that they were going to get a house that would last them forever. And they, you know, come to find out that it's something that is always breaking down. Uh, it always needs updates. It always needs fixing. It's now something they can't even get a handle on. And they're just dishing out more and more money just to to get it fixed so it's a big headache and i'm sure we can both agree that this doesn't really sound like a perfect situation so you know where am i getting at you may be like you know danae what does building a house have to do with my weight loss well it has to do a lot with it because the same way that nicole and john had great intentions of building their house that lasted them forever most people looking to lose weight, 
also have the exact same intentions. They want to lose weight and they want to stay at their goal and that's it. But this is typically what happens. So I wanted to share some interesting da data with you. Um, so an average person spends seven years minimum with a personal trainer. So at a bare minimum over seven years, they spend $42,000 on a personal trainer. So that's quite a bit of money. You could save that money over seven years. So what's also even more interesting is that an average person spends 30 years of their life dieting, which leads to over $100,000 worth of stress. So this all comes from trainers, workout plans, meal plans, diet pills, grocery haul lists and new foods, doctor visits, the rat race of trying 50 different things just to see long-term sustainable results and still stuck on figuring out, you know, what's the secret to dieting. It's a lot of money. So you may be even thinking to yourself like, wow, like how much money have I spent on trying to lose weight over the last five years, over the last 10 years, 20 years, 30 years? Probably a lot of money without the results, which could even be a little bit more frustrating. So how can we prevent this from happening? How can you make a decision that will save you $42,000 over seven years? Because that's a lot of money. And how can you make a decision that will save you, oh, I just bit my lip, sorry, that can save you $100,000? So this is not even any fluff. This is not any sort of exaggeration. These are real numbers. So the first thing you need to do is find a coach that is willing to teach you how to make a lifestyle rather than, you know, a single focused personal trainer that just teaches you how to exercise. So there's a big difference. And you may have even found a personal trainer that helps you to exercise and also gives you a meal plan. And this seems very typical. The first thing people lean towards when wanting to lose weight or make new uh, lifestyle changes is, okay, let me find someone who can write out, write out a meal plan for me and can just, you know, give me workouts to do. That's typically like everyone's first go-to. So I want to just explain a little bit of why that becomes a problem because not, you know, all workouts and meal plans, they're not going to give you your result long-term because it's not what you need to see lifelong sustainable results. A meal plan and workouts don't give you lifelong sustainable results. Coaching gives you long-term results. You need to be able to get into the how because if you only focus on getting to your goal, you'll never end up with weight loss that stays off forever. Anyone can tell you to eat chicken and broccoli for every meal, give up sugar, move your body more because that's what meal plans and workout programs will tell you. But if it was that simple, everyone would be at their goal forever, but but they're not because it's not that simple. <clears throat> Especially when gut health, hormonal health, typically comes into the mix and now stops you in your tracks. That's why the how is always different for every single person because everyone has different time, a different lifestyle, different needs, different wants. So when you're just following a meal plan, you're just following a workout program, you're not learning anything. That's the difference between following a plan and coaching. So you're just simply following a plan and once you're done following that plan, you go back to what you used to do and you gain the weight back. And in some cases, you even gain back more. It could be 30, 40, 50 pounds more. And the diet cycle then starts again, whether it's a few months or a few, later, few uh, years later. And when you have a coach that teaches you on how to reach your goal, and stay at your goal, you've now learned priceless, valuable information that you can keep with you forever. Um, and now you can finally get to living a healthy lifestyle, living with freedom long-term, and now you're out of that dieting cycle. We don't wanna be in that dieting cycle forever. So not only does this save you time, headaches, stress, and effort, but it saves you a lot of money. So if on average people spend $42,000 on personal trainers, 
cutting that in half for lifelong results would be worth it if you cut it in half. Don't you agree? So $42,000 or $21,000 sounds like a no-brainer. What if you cut that in half to $10,500? Now you're saving even more money for a permanent result. You would look at that and be like, wow, I'll pay that right now if that means I never have to spend money on weight loss again. And I know that I'll be able to lose my weight and keep it there forever. So let's have even more fun. Because what if you cut that number in half and now you're at $5,000? It's like, wow. Like, I can go from $42,000 to $5,000 for a permanent result. Sign me up right now. I can lose weight. I can keep it off. I don't have to be dependent on a personal trainer or a program for the rest of my life. Sounds amazing. I can learn how to eat the foods I love all while staying fit. I can exercise without spending hours and hours at the gym. And I can do this forever and it's only $5,000. It's like, yes, but there's more. What if you can do this for half of the price? Now you're probably like, wow, this is just too good to be true. And in fact, it sounds too good to be true, but this is actually reality because people like yourself are learning how to lose weight and see sustainable results, transform their lifestyle, their gut health, balance out their hormones so they can live life, a life that they enjoy feeling like themselves, feeling like their old self, and they're feeling happy for only $2,500. So it's like, okay, not only do you get to save $40,000 on hiring a personal trainer for seven years and only learning exercises, but it also saves you $100,000 over the course of 30 years. Plus, you have less stress, less worry, less effort, with more time, more results, and more productivity. It sounds like a win-win. <laughs> so the reason why I wanted to share this incredible information with you is because you and myself included at times, we forget to look at the big picture. We're always so focused on the short term, we forget about the long term. And we look at the big picture, um, when we look at the big picture, we're then able to then plan something that gives us the result we want because we can really map out everything to make sure we're on the right path to get us to the desired result. If we choose the wrong path, we're not going to get where we want to go. So we need to make sure that that is absolutely getting us to the end result. So depending on what your goals are and what you're aiming for, will determine what way you would rather go. So if you're looking for short-term results, you're looking to lose weight fast because we live in the now, now, now time and you don't really have a care for learning about what gives you the result. You just want the results now, you want it quickly and that's it. Then maybe spending the $42,000 on a personal trainer makes the most sense. And if you are someone who doesn't mind dieting for 30 years, um, and you don't mind spending $100,000 over the course of 30 years on different programs and weight loss pills and all that jazz, then that could be the path for you. And I'm not here to tell you what one is right or what one is wrong. But if you are sick and tired of spending money on program after program, and you're just like, oh, Danae, I just want to see long-term results. I want a permanent solution. I don't want to diet forever. You want the knowledge on the how to lose weight. Um, you want to learn, you know, how it could be customized to what you like and what you enjoy. And you want to just make sure you're losing weight all while, able, you know, taking care of a family because, you know, we're busy and it could still fit into our lifestyle. So then making an investment for just half of a year or even an entire year is the route you would want to take. Because you can either spend fourteen, um, sorry, you can either spend forty-two thousand dollars over seven years, or you can invest in a program that is sixteen times less with a permanent result. And again, there's no right or wrong. It just depends on what your outcome, what you want your outcome to be, 
And then you can really just make a decision from there. So I hope that was really, really helpful. I knew I threw a lot at you, but I really wanted to help you make your decision easier when it comes to what path you need to take to see the result you're looking for, to see that you could lose weight and keep it off and what you need to lose weight and most importantly, keep it off forever. So not to mention the thousands of dollars um, that it will save you depending on the route you take. So I hope that was super helpful. Tomorrow, join me because I'm actually going to be talking about different ways that you can invest in yourself that will produce the highest result when it comes to your health and your results um, and just living a healthy life. So before I go, I want to invite you to my free seven-day challenge. My seven-day challenge was really designed for simplicity, to really teach you the seven simple habits on what it takes to start living a healthy lifestyle. So whether you're busy, um, you're busy, you have kids, you can do the seven-day challenge just by committing five minutes per day. I made it simple on purpose to really show you that living a healthy lifestyle doesn't have to be that hard. Um, so in my seven day guide, I added tons of value in it. You'll be getting free workouts, free recipes. I have my free gut health ebook. And I also threw in one of my favorites, which is my free supplement guide. A lot of people always ask me, Danae, what supplements do I have to take? And sometimes we get caught up just spending so much money on supplements and not even knowing if they're the ones that we need to take and if they're even going to work. Are they good quality? You know, not all supplements are created equal. So that's why I created my free guide to help you and educate you. So if you're looking to start taking back control of your health, you want to start living healthy again, click the link above and below. Fill out your details. Keep an eye out for an email with details to follow. And I'm super excited to have you in our seven-day challenge. You're going to enjoy it. And again, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Sunday. And I'll see you tomorrow.